we doing? Welcome back to the Art of Ram Swamp Trog here. We're at the third layer of skate park. Tonight we're talking about the backside tail stall. Awesome. A couple tricks to go on. No, before we get into this, you're gonna need to have that backside pivot dialed in. Speed up. You're also gonna need to have the backside disaster on lockdown, alright? The difference between a backside disaster and a tail stall is the timing of when you actually snap and scoop up into the trip. All right, so here's a, here's a link right here to the Backside Disaster video. It's great, it has a lot of the foundational movements you're gonna need for this trick. But tonight, March 15th, one in the morning, Serenity and I, we just got done ramming it down, having a great session, and we're filming the Art of Ramp because we're having fun. And that's what you do with your friends. You get out there, you have fun, you skate all night long. All right, so. Backside tail cell, let's get into it. Coming out onto the ramp. Notice we're not out in the bowl yet. We're starting out smaller. Now we're getting into more and more harder intermediate tricks, more advanced intermediate tricks. We gotta start on some lower quarter pipes. And it's actually been um, a comment that keeps coming up in the Art of Ram. Thank you for your comments, by the way. Keep them coming, keep asking those questions so we can break down these tricks all over the world as a community together love that and we're gonna keep going on here we go so um starting on a smaller ramp two foot eight inches tall very small mini ramp great place to start we're gonna just start on the flat bottom talking about the foot placement as i approach the ramp i'm gonna have my foot back in a full or high power stance that means behind the front bolts if you haven't seen the ollie video here's a link to that go check that out because that's gonna tell you about the heartbeat and you wanna add life to your skateboarding. That's why we're out here. We don't wanna have dead zombie-like skating. We wanna have skateboarding that's full of life, action, movement, land, not a lot of slams, and a lot of progression, or as I like to call it, draw grass. Let's get to work. All right, our foot's back. It's down in that full power position, all right? Not high power, but more or less in that full power. Toes over the edge, just hugging. That tip of that toe is hugging the front rail of the board, the back foot, it's gonna be slightly over just like that backside disaster. I'm gonna be pushing down with that big toe as I'm snapping and dragging and pushing here. My heel is up and that's how I'm gonna get that scoop into this backside tail. straight on. Remember, just like the backside disaster video, we're bending that shoulder down, we're dipping it in to snap it around and counter our shoulders back the opposite way to stop that rotation. We do not ever want to over rotate, fall down the ramp backwards. Let's get into a couple tries and some bailout patterns to show you how to survive your backside tail stall. A lot like the backside disaster, you're going to step off and you're just going to take that one step into that knee slide. Alright, we're gonna stall over here on the spot. Oh, 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 step knee slide, alright? A lot more difficult to do that on a smaller ramp. There's just not that much radius and transition transition to catch. So stay low. Alright? Be instinctive, but never drop right to the knees. Always try to get that step in, kids. I'm telling you, take that step into that knee slide, cat-like reflex. Here we go. <laughs> Setting up with that foot in place, all right? Very key. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna do a pivot. My foot's not gonna move around at all. I'm gonna come back around, I'm gonna scoop into this. Counter, I'm gonna try to actually stall, stall it out with my arms perpendicular with that elbow. So you saw a little bit of a jumble right there, a little pivot to tail. It might be perfect for you guys to practice this trick too. Go up the ramp, set up. Pivot, tail. Drop. First time I did that this year. Pivot, tail, drop. Whatever you do it on, keep that 
weight into the ring, all right? Hope that explains a little bit about the bailout the process that you're gonna do or the bailout pattern. Remember, you've already mastered the backside disaster. This shouldn't be far from that. It's talking about that swoop up. So that backside disaster where we come up, we dip that shoulder in, we're riding up and through into a disaster. Like the pivot, we're gonna turn early and scoop. Pivots are very weight, weight. Stand on top and stall on that heel. Backside tail stall is a swoop in back toe, the whole thing. So again, the pivot is gonna be on that heel edge. You're gonna be on that heel to stall, toe to go in. Just take the heel out of the equation, same, same like turning area, snap into that back tail. I hope this helps you on your journey through intermediate ramp riding. Again, it's one in the morning. We've been shredding. We close at 10. Find some indies. Got Jimmy Wilkins real deck. Got some bones, wheels right there. Some Lizzie's. Life is good. Thanks for watching the Art of Ramp. Subscribe below. Tell a friend about skateboarding. Change their lives. Let's get to the bowl. Coming up the ramp. Feet are in position. Coming up, foot back, toes over the edge there. I'm coming up, I'm lifting up right here. And this is where I'm gonna start this aggressive swoop or scoop into this back tail, all right? Now I'm back up into that tail stuff. How do you get there though? What's the trick to getting up in there? You're gonna watch some of these videos, I'm gonna slow them down. Here's the thing, the number one tip for the backside tail stuff. As I'm approaching up, feet all in position, low, dipped in, I'm gonna dip my shoulder in, just like it explained in the backside disaster video. And as I come up, same thing. I'm gonna turn, start that turn. I'm activating my core muscles as I'm twisting and I'm leaving my upper body parallel with the coping. That reason right there stops me from over rotating. If that shoulder dipped in, I kept spinning, I would simply just come over to a backside over rotation and you do not want to do that, my friends. Stop that rotation with that upper body parallel. If not, torque all the way back, counter perpendicular with that board. So you don't want to be here. That's leading to over rotation. You want to be here, all the way up to here, cranked over. The more you cranked over, the more power you're gonna get on that drop-in. One other thing, as seen in these videos, what you're gonna see is that front edge knife of your foot, that outer edge is gonna be rolled over. It's not gonna be up on the nose like an ollie. It's gonna be cut in right there. You're gonna be in this position on that coping. Find a line on your ramp, anywhere out there, sidewalk crack. Plant that back wheel in it. Practice this position right here, looking over. Get used to standing like that. Your back heel is gonna be completely lifted off the board. You're gonna be pinned into that back tail. When you scoop around to that first one, make sure, do me a favor, don't freak out right then and there. Like, I did it, I'm in there. Right away, get to the other side of the wall. Then kick your board out of the way and celebrate, all right? Get your ice cream kicked. Again, approaching up that ramp, doing that kick turn, scooping that backside tail stall, just like that disaster, but earlier, pinning it in there, having that bo upper body counter to stop that rotation. You're gonna be breathing out during all that. You're gonna ride away. You're gonna feel like a million bucks. Let's go to the bank, cash the check. That's the Art of Ram, backside tail stall. but I'm also dipping that shoulder in, just like that backside disaster. Dip that shoulder in so when you snap it up. Here boy, here boy, good boy Jimmy, good boy Jimmy. <laughs> I already mastered them, backside pivot. You gotta have the backside pivot. Pivoting on that heel, stalling it out, turning back in. 
Next, what you're going to need to have is a 